Welcome, you're tuned into Tangled Threads. If you're digging our content, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you. Hey Reddit, I'm Summer, and I'm typing this from my old room at my parents' house. It's weird being back here, surrounded by high school memorabilia and old posters, but I guess that's my life now. I never thought I'd be in this situation, but here I am, trying to make sense of it all. I need to tell someone about this, even if it's just a bunch of strangers on the internet. My husband Keith and I have been together for what feels like forever. We met in college, hit it off immediately, and have been inseparable since. He was always the strong, dependable type, the kind of guy who could fix a leaky faucet and then cook a gourmet meal. Our friends used to joke that he was a real-life superhero, and to me, he was. Everything changed a few months ago. Keith, an avid cyclist, got into a pretty bad accident. He was on a training ride when a car swerved into the bike lane. He managed to avoid a direct hit, but in swerving away, he crashed and ended up breaking his leg in two places. It was a nasty break, requiring surgery and a long recovery period. The surgery itself was complicated. The doctors had to insert a metal rod and screws to stabilize his leg. They said he'd recover fully, but it would take time and he wouldn't be able to put any weight on his leg for weeks. No cycling, no cooking, no fixing things around the house. He was confined to the couch, with his leg propped up, and dependent on me for almost everything. I thought I was prepared to handle it. I mean, that's what you do for the person you love, right? You take care of them when they're down. But I wasn't prepared for how much it would affect me, seeing him like that. Keith, my strong, capable husband, was suddenly helpless. It was like he had become a different person overnight. The worst part, though, was the intimacy, or the lack thereof. The doctors had warned us that we couldn't have intercourse for a while. It wasn't just the physical recovery. The painkillers he was on killed his libido. I tried to be understanding, but it was hard. I missed the physical side of our relationship, sure, but it was more than that. I missed feeling desired. I missed the connection that came with being close to him. I started to feel resentful, which I know is terrible. I hated myself for it, but I couldn't help it. I felt like I was living with a stranger, not my husband. The man who used to lift me up with just a smile now barely looked at me. I felt alone, even though he was right there. And then, I did something I'll regret for the rest of my life. I cheated on him. It wasn't planned. I met someone at a bar, someone who looked at me the way Keith used to. One thing led to another, and before I knew it, I had crossed a line I never thought I'd cross. The night I came back from cheating, the house was quiet. Keith was on the couch, his injured leg propped up, staring blankly at the TV. The moment I stepped in, I could feel his eyes on me, heavy with an unspoken accusation. Summer, he said. His voice was eerily calm. We need to talk. I stood there, frozen, my heart pounding in my chest. Keith, I... He cut me off. Just sit down for a minute, please. He gestured to the chair across from him. His usual warm tone was replaced by something cold and distant. I sat, clutching my purse like a lifeline. The silence stretched between us, thick and suffocating. Where were you? He asked finally, his eyes never leaving mine. I was out with, with some friends from work, I lied, avoiding his gaze. He let out a humorless chuckle. You expect me to believe that? After all these years, you think I can't tell when you're lying? I swallowed hard, my throat tight. Keith, I... Stop, he said sharply. Just stop. I can see it, Summer. It's written all over your face. You cheated on me. Tears welled up in my eyes. Keith, I'm so sorry. It was a mistake. I was confused, lonely. I didn't know what I was doing. A mistake? His voice cracked with a mixture of anger and pain. You call betraying our marriage, our love, a mistake. I reached out to him, but he pulled back. I just, I missed you, the real you. I couldn't handle seeing you like this, so weak and dependent. I needed to feel wanted, loved. So, my injury made me less of a man to you? His words were like a slap in the face. I was still me, Summer, I was still your husband. But that wasn't enough for you, was it? I had no words. The truth was too harsh, too ugly. He sighed, a deep, weary sound. I can't do this right now. I can't even look at you. I need you to leave, Summer. Keith, please, let's talk about this. 
We can get through it. I know we can, I pleaded. No, he said firmly. I can't. Not now. Maybe not ever. I need time to think, to figure out if I can move past this, if I can ever trust you again. I stood up, my whole body trembling. Keith, I love you. I'm so sorry. He didn't look at me. Just go, Summer. Please. And so, I left. I walked out of the house, out of our life together, with nothing but guilt and regret weighing me down. So, I left. I packed a few bags and came to my parents' house. They don't know the whole story. They think we're just having some issues and need a little space. I haven't told them about the cheating. I'm too ashamed. I don't know what to do. I love Keith. I miss him. I miss us. But I don't know if he'll ever be able to forgive me. I don't know if I'll ever be able to forgive myself. I keep replaying everything in my head, wondering where it all went wrong. Was it when he got injured? When I started feeling disconnected? When I made the decision to cheat? I don't know. All I know is that I've lost the love of my life, and it's all my fault. I'm not looking for sympathy. I know what I did was wrong. I guess I just needed to get this off my chest. To tell someone, even if it's just a bunch of strangers on the internet. Thanks for reading, if you've made it this far. Any advice or words of wisdom would be appreciated. I just feel so lost right now. Update. Hey Reddit, it's summer again. I wanted to give an update on my situation, though it's not the kind of update I ever expected to be sharing. After everything that happened with Keith, the divorce proceedings started. I guess I was naive, or maybe just hopeful, that things would somehow work out more amicably. But they didn't. We went through the legal process, and the outcome was that I received no alimony. None. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. I know I made a huge mistake, and I'm not trying to play the victim here. But the reality of being financially on my own, especially under these circumstances, is hitting me hard. During our marriage, Keith was the main breadwinner. I worked part-time and focused on the home. We agreed on that arrangement, and it worked for us. Or at least, I thought it did. Now, I'm scrambling to find full-time work, but it's tough. My skills are outdated, and the job market isn't exactly welcoming. I'm living with my parents, which is a blessing in a way, but it's also a constant reminder of how much I've lost. I'm trying to be strong, to pick up the pieces of my life, but some days it feels overwhelming. I've seen a few comments on my last post saying, I got what I deserved, and maybe that's true. I betrayed Keith, and this is the consequence. But it's one thing to know that in theory, and another to live it every day. I'm not looking for sympathy. I guess I just needed to vent, to put my thoughts out there. If anyone has been through something similar, any advice on how to rebuild after losing everything would be really appreciated. Thanks for reading. Holy fuck, that was a roller coaster. The amount of face palms I just did is astounding. Anyways, let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. When you subscribe, be sure to click the notification bell. Click here for more Tangled Threads.